Today we are working on a 2020 Land Rover Discovery. This customer is bringing in their vehicle for a smoke odor removal. Now on the interior, it's actually not that dirty looking. Like you wouldn't look at it and be like, whoa, that's dirty. But as soon as you open the door, the odor hits you in the face. It has a very potent smoke odor to it. So our job is to thoroughly clean the interior and then run an ozone treatment to get that odor out. So we're gonna start off by vacuuming up all the dry soil, and then we're gonna treat all the absorbent materials like fabric, uh, carpet, headliner, with a tobacco, tobacco odor uh, counteractant, and then we were gonna hot water extract those surfaces. Um, after that, deep clean all the leather and plastic, scrub the windows, uh, pull out all the seat belts and pressure wash those. And we're also gonna change out the cabin air filter and then lastly run an ozone machine on the vehicle for a few hours. This is basically like a, a full interior cleaning just at a heightened level because we don't know where the nicotine tobacco ashes are at. So we wanna make sure we have to be very thorough because again, the car itself isn't that dirty, oh. but that means there's still a heavy odor to it. So that means it's still in there somewhere. So our job is to make sure we extract and clean everything as best as we can. The customer is gonna pick it up tomorrow, midday or end of day, and we're charging 550 for this service. Now we do offer our customers two options when it comes to smoke odor removal. One is if they want, it's, it's more of a gamble, if they want, we can just run the ozone treatment and hope that goes away after one or maybe two treatments, right? And we'll charge like, uh, I forget what, what exactly, like $100 per treatment. Now the problem though is that if it doesn't go away after two treatments, right? The next step is we have to go a step backward and start cleaning the interior again because somewhere in the interior, you still have the source of the, of the odor, right? For us, if we're just doing the ozone treatment, if the odor comes back, we're gonna charge them again for another ozone treatment. And if they want another treatment, we'll charge them again. But if they go with the full process and we're able to control steps A to Z, if we do the in interior cleaning and if we do the ozone treatment and the smell comes back, they can bring it back to us at no extra charge and we'll do another ozone treatment and hopes that that takes away the odor. If it's a very severe odor, to some degree, you're not gonna remove everything out of the interior, which has happened before. But if we are in control of the full process, we'll make sure that, hey, if the odor does come back, bring it back, no extra charge, and we'll run the ozone treatment again. And remember, we're not trying to remove a bunch of gunk or dirt out of the fabric because it's not that dirty. The main point is to make sure we pull out as much of that nicotine, ashes, or anything else that might be causing that smoke odor. So at the end of the detail, we're not expecting the wastewater to be super brown or black.
Now when it comes to the ozone treatment, we need to make sure that the interior is completely dry. So as soon as we're done with the shampooing, we're gonna place down our air movers so we can dry the interior, or at least the fabric material, as fast as we can. So that way at the end of the day, when we put the ozone treatment, the interior is good to go. Okay, so the process is going well. Like I said, this vehicle itself wasn't dirty like we typically see it, but the odor is still there. Now, as far as pricing, again, it's gonna be 550. Lex, when it comes to pricing it, what do you look for? Or like, how do you know what to price these jobs? So uh, we do have a base price, just considering all the steps that we're gonna take. But price is based on the condition of the vehicle and the severity of the odor. The stronger the odor is, the more ozone treatment's gonna need, the more time it's gonna take, so the price goes up. And of course, the condition, the longer it's been smoked in, the more smoke residue is everywhere, the, you know, the more the buildup is, which means the more cleaning we have to do. So, more time, price also goes up. So the interior is all cleaned up, it's also dry. Lex right now is setting up the ozone machine. Uh, what we do is we close all the doors, all the windows are rolled up, and we put this foam here, that way it, we can put the uh, ozone treatment or the ozone thing through it, and it keeps the ozone in there without it coming out. Um, but we're, we'll run it for four to six hours. It's on a timer, so it'll shut off um, at the designated time. Uh, that's the specific uh, unit that we're using, that is a uh, Max Blaster ozone generator. Now, first thing in the morning, we're going to pull it out, pause, air it out, and inspect it. If it's good to go, we'll call the customer and they'll pick it up whenever they can. If we deem that it needs another treatment just to get a little bit more out, we'll run another treatment. And again, if, if they do the full process with us and the order comes back, in two days or two weeks, we'll run into the ozone treatment. Um, like I said, there has been times where the odor is just too severe that at some point you're just not gonna get 100% of the odor out. But that wraps up the process. Pretty straightforward, it's just a bit more meticulous and detailed versus a normal interior cleaning because you're trying to get odor out and you can't really see odor like in this situation. So let me know if you have any specific questions about the process. Leave it down in the comment section down below and I'll see you on the next one.